preparing the bathtub, Lapland style. Tour guides are about to take an ice bath in northern Sweden, way above the Arctic Circle. The outside temperature is minus 10, the ice is half a meter thick, the water is at 4 degrees Celsius. For most of humanity, this would cause panic attacks, but here it's just another way to pass the time in winter. So something new, something that can scare you. And this is the point, to go over that scare. Felix gets over his scare with mental preparation and deep breathing. And then it's showtime. He lasts over a minute in the icy water. For most people, more than two minutes would be deadly. When the water reaches your heart, then you know that you have to focus on breathing and blowing a lot. But why do it? Even locals need to think that one over for a minute. The point is... Uh, health. Good health. <laughs> Thankfully, there are warmer ways to pass the time in Lapland, such as this outdoor sauna. But predictably, that's a little too comfortable. Soon everyone's back out in the cold to whip themselves with birch branches, which cleanse the skin and get the circulation going. But that's still not painful enough, so why not hit the snow? This has been the local population's idea of fun for generations, but now it's also attracting foreign visitors. It's extremely relaxing. Never in my life have I felt my entire body to the bone being this hot. And to go out of the sauna and roll in the snow is something you could be scared of, but here you really want to do it. You're a new person after a sauna. You feel so clean on the inside and the outside. Scientific studies now claim the mixture of sauna and snow makes for healthier skin, a better heart and even improved stamina. But up here in Lapland, people say that more than anything, it's good for the soul.